Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm getting into today's GTA 5 online video. I'm going to be showing you guys where to find all of the movie parts in GTA Online. Rockstar added this new quest in here for this guy called Solomon. You can find him and how to start the mission right here. It's the yellow golden S over here. But basically, you just show up at his office, you walk in, the cops in here being completely useless, playing with their little toys and stuff. I'm gonna get out of here before they hear what I'm saying, and they shoot me in the back, because that's all they're good for. But the ones I'm about to show you on the map are the ones you can pick up that's stationary, the rest will be vehicles. Okay, uh, number one, which is the vehicle, it's close to the Epicent Center up here. Number two shows up like right where I'm at. Number three is gonna be in the casino right here. Number four is going to be between the movie theater and there. That's a car. This here is outside of Lester's warehouse. Okay, now this one here is the strip club. This is the one I'm going to start with. Okay, here's another one. This is behind the MC clubhouse at a house, top of the map up here, kind of. This one here is outside of a UFO worship center, I'll call it. And this one up here is where the crazy incest people is at. The camp, I think, or Anderson Coat. Up here is one in Puerto Bay. That's a vehicle. Okay, this one right here is in Fort Zanquito Tower, that is stationary. There's 11 props to get. Seven of those will be, like, stationary objects. The rest of them are going to be vehicles, but I'm going to start out with number one. Okay, number one is going to be located at the strip club, so you'll have to shoot the guard, and you'll have to shoot inside the strip club to get everybody out, because it is located inside of the back room. Okay, it's going to be right back here, located in the corner on this desk. I'm not really for sure what you would call that, but just grab it. Now, you can find the next one over here. This will be a vehicle. It will be outside of Lester's Warehouse, right across the Los Santos Custom middle of town. This is a vehicle. You could have issues with that vehicle not spawning over here, so you will have to watch out for that. If it doesn't spawn, just come back, maybe find a new session. I'm not sure if this one is time, but the other vehicles are. Alright, after you return to the vehicle, all you gotta do is walk out of Solomon's office, go to the far left over here, and you'll find the other prop in the dumpster right here, and just return it into him. Okay, from here, make your way to the Artisan Coat Camp. It's going to be like on top of the map. You can't really miss it. It's the camp, but there's a bunch of naked, inbred people out. That's pretty crazy over here. They've never seen the technology of my MKT oppressor. But moving on over to the next one here. This one here is inside of the control tower at the Fort Zanquito, the tall building that's in the other end of the airport. You can't miss it. It's going to be right in here. So pretty much that's where it's at. You should be able to find this one here pretty easy. But the next one, you'll be locating it. It is over here at this UFO area. This here is just right up the road from the convenience stores and stuff. You really can't miss the spot right here. It even tells you on the map. You'll find it up top right here. You have an alien hat, which you do get an alien hat later on. The alien outfit instead of the hat, so you get the full outfit. But this is where it's located at, right here on the map. Moving to the next one, you will find this location where I'm about to show you right here. It is behind the MC Clubhouse. It is going to be this house up here in the middle of nowhere, so it's going to be up over here. You can find this one here on the other side of it right here. Sometimes it does spawn on the roof, sometimes it spawns in the backyard, so you will have to look around right here. But basically, it sits right up here on the front porch, guys, so just grab it off the front porch. Okay, so so far we have like 7 out of 10. I'm about to go grab the 8th one. Now, this whole time we're doing this, please be looking on your map periodically to be looking for this blue blips to pop up in those locations I mentioned earlier because some of these are timed and these vehicle spawns are completely random. But the last one you can pick up on foot is going to be over at the Diamond Casino and Resort. You can find this here in the back of the casino on the far route. Right. I don't know why GTA Online decided to put movie props all over the map like this or how they freaking ended up up here. So just look around the stalls and stuff here, but you can find this here. I believe it's a turkey hack. Okay, moving on to the last two vehicles. This one is going to be in a Karen Rebel. You can find this between Polito Bay and Fort Zanquito. And it's either going to be parked here, where it's going to be driving up the road. People on Reddit said they found it driving. People on Reddit said they found it parking. My friend found it parked, and I found it driving. So that's completely random. 
But the way you increase your chance with these vehicle spawn is definitely being a session with lots of players in it because you're almost guaranteed to get a spawn of these vehicles. And I always be circling around Poido Bay when you're looking for the truck just between the roads and the mountains, and it will spawn for you. And lobby surfing definitely helps. It did take us a little bit to find this, but a lot of people's been having issues, and that seems to be the way to avoid it. So we turned in this prop right here. Just need to get the last one. This one here will be a van. It will be located at the Epsilon Coat building over here. You can find this down the block from Equips Towers over here, across from the clothes store and barbershop. You should be able to find this here. This building stands out as people have the blue seats here. <coughs> and we're going to turn this one here in. Whenever you're doing these, I do highly recommend you go to organization where you go off the radar to avoid any chances of being griefed. But all right, upon turning in the prop number 10 out of 10, you'll go touch from Solomon. He's going to tell you he had something for you that not even money can buy, which is going to be this cool alien outfit that was reserved for like story mode only. I believe you could get it with cheat codes or in director mode, but other than that, you cannot normally have this in online. When you get 50 grand up there, you get some more RP. I believe you get about 150,000 RP for the whole take on this, and you get 3,000 RP each for the props. And I just want to take a couple of minutes here, guys, to talk about the vehicles and how you can increase the chance of getting them to spawn and stuff like that. Because I know a lot of people's having issues. These vehicles are not spawning. What can you do about it? There's misinformation out there. First of all, there's only like three vehicles here. The God said there's four. The reason I think there's only three is because the one at Western's Warehouse can also spawn at the movie theater and bus station. That is a van with the Tiger in the back of it. And as for the Karen Rebel, it is only going to spawn in Polito Bay between there and Fort Zanquito. That's the area where the Karen Rebel's at. My friend found it parked, but I was able to get it to spawn myself driving by using a Karen Rebel. And people on Reddit suggested the same thing. And as for the every van, it is located at the Epson Coat Center. Now, that one there is really tricky. I found it over here parked inside of a parking lot right over there where I showed you in the video. However, my friend found it driving up and down the road to the uh, couple of roads over the mountain pass between the uh, golf course, not the main highway, but everyone. He found it driving through there just normally, like it just popped up randomly. And the best way you can really get them to spawn is to be surfing some sessions, get in the full lobby, and just fly around the map two or three times. And that's great. We're going to increase your chances of spawning. And don't be afraid to steal it from somebody if you have to, because me and my friend did spend the better part of 30 hours getting these vehicles and looking up information and stuff. But we managed to get it. And be looking for in the future to get some uh, modded outfit videos using these uh, alien outfit. I'm pretty sure there's a way to glitch it under a bulletproof helmet and all kinds of cool stuff. So be looking for that. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Comment down below if you have any questions at all. And don't forget to check out some of the other stuff on the channel. There's lots and lots of content on here everybody can enjoy. Peace out.